Hey, at a certain point, someone has to say no to these It's a very strange day when you're my hero. Oh. So, do we know who the other guy is who's getting the part? Nah. They were just using that to get me to read. There probably isn't even another guy. Really? Well, here's what's gonna happen. Right now, they're telling each other they didn't want me in the first place. Then they'll offer it to some big movie guy like Nicolas Cage, who you know isn't gonna do TV. But he'll jerk him around for a while, then come back and say, oh, he won't do TV. Then they'll go to like some big Broadway star who nobody's heard of, and he won't want to leave New York, which only makes them want him more. So they'll offer to shoot it in New York, but then the Broadway guy will decide he doesn't want to do TV. Then they'll just give it to Dylan McDermott. And that's why I want to go home. Right, but in the meantime, you're here. So, to the three of us, in what was, on the whole, a fairly the experience. <laughs> Sorry, hold that thought. You're up to the experience. Hello? Sean, hi, it's Eileen. Did Carol Rance offer you a series pickup, no pilot? Yes. You've got to tell me these things. Kim Sally heard about it. She's willing to match it and kick in a big penalty. What? It's Eileen. Fox is willing to offer us a series pickup with a big penalty. The penalty being we would have to do it. Eileen, I'm sorry. We said no to Carol and it's no to Kim. It's not going to happen. Oh, unbelievable. <sighs> Hello? Hi, sweetie. Hi, I'm out to dinner. Can I call you back? No. No? Elliot Salad read your script. He really liked it. He said it was the one sane thing Castor said. I can't believe we're even having this conversation again. It's Elliot Salad. How do I say no to Elliot Salad? I don't care. With croutons, but say it.